insisting that questions actually be questions. So if you start making a speech, I'm going to cut you off in a really rude and embarrassing way. So don't do that. I have done this before. I may throw something at you. Uh, my name is Kevin Williamson. I'm a writer for National Review, and we're here to talk about bridging the racial divide. Which, when you have a question like that, what you really want is a right-wing white guy from the South moderating things. So here I am. Lucky you. Um, although, if you read uh, Daily Kos or Huffington Post, you know I'm actually secretly an African American from the South. Uh, you can ask me about that later. It's a I've heard long story. <laughs> and, uh, it could be. Uh, so one of the things that's uh, occurred to me where I wanted to start the conversation, and where I was going to make this a conversation, I don't you know, want to do the up and down the line stuff, that it's kind of tedious. Um, but I will start at the end, I think, for this one. Is that the, the liberty movement, broadly defined, uh, libertarians, free market conservatives, uh, have done a really poor job over the years, famously, uh, reaching out to people who aren't white and who aren't male. Um, it's, it's a pretty white guy thing. It's maybe not as much of a white guy thing as it was back in the 70s, uh, even the 90s. Any of you remember the Andre Maru presidential campaign? That was, um, it was, it was a white guy festival, uh, pretty much. Uh, and there's all sorts of reasons for that, I think. And there's some pretty dumb explanations, too. And one of the dumb explanations that I really dislike that's been a big part of the rhetoric, especially on the conservative side of things, is this idea that's sometimes summarized as the plantation, as they call it, the idea that people who are African American or Latino or immigrants tend to vote for the left, vote for Democrats, vote for progressives because they expect to get government benefits in return for their vote. This is a dumb line of thinking for a couple of reasons. One is that it doesn't actually correspond with the facts very well. Uh, people in those communities who make a lot of money are much more likely to be on the left than people who have modest incomes, so it's not really an economic self interest question. And it's also dumb, I think, just because I don't really think you want uh, a lot of people vying for people's votes talking about plantations in a loose kind of way. I think it's a, it's a dumb kind of rhetoric. I think maybe a more likely explanation is risk aversion. Uh, if you look at, say, investment habits of white women, African Americans, Latinos, immigrants, uh, controlling for education, for controlling for income, they tend to be much more conservative investors. They tend to invest in things like government bonds, less in stocks. They tend to have less of a natural, uh, you know, grown up with belief in free enterprise, free markets, and, and what those can do for people. They're much more cautious. And this doesn't seem to me at all irrational. Uh, we have people who were systematically excluded from the market economy for years and years, and this is part of a, a shared memory. So I wanted to start uh, with that. If maybe this is uh, a less emotional uh, but more reasonable explanation for why libertarians have had such poor luck recruiting support in those communities. What does everyone think? Um, um, my first comment on that is, in Memphis, when we talk to people who attend church, um, fiscal conservatism is very, very important to them, but I think we have a messaging issue. We don't know how to explain it well. And that's something that I've been working on for a few years, and I'm trying to get better, and it really is a work in progress. But one of the things that you can do is to talk to them about how their money is going out. So um, with the Affordable Care Act, you got like deductibles. So I was going to, you know, your deductibles have gone up in the last six years. And you know, so, um, when did that start? Oh, when it started when the Affordable Care Act was passed. So you try to explain those things to them and it's hitting your pocketbooks or raising gas taxes. That's hitting your pocketbooks directly. So you talk to them about money. That's one of the main issues, usually in those urban communities, is money. They have a lack of money and they need more to take care of their family. I was uh, in California, a Chinese radio station, talk one hour about uh, libertarianism when running for U.S. Senate in Colorado. The boss and his wife, one's from Taiwan, wife is from Shanghai, they really like my messages. They just uh, never heard of the Libertarian Party or Libertarianism. Say, like, where have you been? I said, well, we are the third fastest growing and uh, a largest party in the country. And uh, so I think there is some kind of messaging problem because we are small. But I think each libertarian, what you can do personally, um, what I can do personally is uh, I carry my little you know, libertarian quiz in my wallet. 
plus U.S. Constitution. So whenever I go anywhere, if we talk about ever talk about politics, I always volunteer information. As a libertarian myself, I believe this, this, that, and uh, and the people say that's odd. You are from a communist China, no, you are libertarian. How? That's too extreme, right? <laughs> So that starts conversation about my 20 years journey for freedom. How did I change my mentality and my statism? Because I was so brainwashed as a child in China to a libertarian. So I gave them stories, I gave them examples. And uh, so people sometimes say, I've never heard of you guys, but it makes sense. I truly believe that most Americans are libertarian in their heart. They just don't know it. Of course, the two-party duopoly system keep us out, keep the competition out from all the debates and pollings and, and press coverage. So it's up to us individually to reach out to the American public. Just look at everybody in this country could be potential libertarian. That's how I see them. <laughs>